Now, when you think of snowmobiles, you probably think of a snowy, wintry day. But for one Thomasboro man, any season is a great time to collect these cool rides. And Ryan, hey, there he is. You got to meet him, I hear. I did. There was something so funny about talking about snowmobiles on a nice green day like this, but we're talking about them anyway. And this guy, this is an amazing collection. All those years I spent working up in northern Wisconsin, I saw a lot of snowmobiles, did a lot of snowmobile stories, but never one quite like this, because this guy's collection, you won't believe. Take a look. This is what snowmobiling looks like, the cold of a winter's day, snow flying past. This isn't that place, but it is where snowmobiling passion runs deep as a January snow. Bought my first uh, 2000 Millennium Edition Mach Z and one turned into two, two turned into three and the rest is history. Now, Dustin Eller's garage is full of more than 50 ski doos, each one with a story. It's really interesting to see, uh, you know, to see how the snowmobiles evolved and Skidoo is, you know, they, uh, they own market share. Uh, they're the number one dealer or number one brand in the world. Um, you know, it's, it's crazy, you know, to see their first snowmobile developed in 1959 and we're going into the 60th anniversary in 2019 and the, the advancements in technology is just, it's mind blowing. It's an amazing collection in an unexpected location. I'll be honest with you, where I'm at geographically, in East Central Illinois, no one's ever really seen my collection until now. But that's all changed as Dustin played host to ski -Doo collectors from all over the country during a recent conference. The last two years in a row, we've held it at the other founder of the Yellow Fever Clubs, his private museum in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. He has approximately 250 skidoos under one roof in his museum. Well, uh, we decided to move it down here this year to draw on Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, and uh, also, uh, you know, Northern Illinois. It's something visitors to the reunion were happy to attend. We're in an area that maybe typically wouldn't be the snow belt, but we have people from all over the country and Canada that are part of our group. So it's nice to come to a new area because other people from the country, it's closer for them than it was if we're in Minnesota or Wisconsin. Seeing a collection somewhere unexpected, no matter the weather. I talk about snowmobiles 365 days a year, so it is what it is. Well, it's always a good time to talk snowmobiles. And Heather, I got to say, being out there, it was about 90 degrees and sunny when I was there. And for just a second, seeing all those, it almost made me wish for a little bit of snow. But uh, we'll probably be regretting that in a couple <laughs> months, me saying that. <laughs> Absolutely. Dustin Neeler there with all of his snowmobiles. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs>